Hello boys and girls, today we're going to be watching a really old cartoon about Jehovah's Witnesses. And here's the catch, it was not produced by Watchtower. It was made by this channel called Jeremiah Films, who released a documentary back in 1986 called Witnesses of Jehovah. You might have seen it yourself, and it has aged quite well. The producers behind Jeremiah Films are Christians themselves, so this cartoon is quite biased against Jehovah's Witnesses, but it's still a fascinating insight into how Jehovah's Witnesses are viewed by other mainstream Christians. And the animation is pretty cool, so let's watch. When early Watchtower teachings that the world entered the so-called time of the end in 1799, that Jesus returned invisibly in 1874, and that the world would end in 1914 were proven false. So most Jehovah's Witnesses today are not even aware of all these false predictions made by Charles Chase Russell, how he believed he was living in the end times and how 1914 would be the end of the system of things. Jehovah's Witnesses don't know this because Watchtower hides it from them. But of course, since 1914 was not the end, uh, there was some need for some readjustments. Doctrine was conveniently readjusted. In the new version, 1914 became the date of both Christ's invisible return and the beginning of the time of the end. This date was put forth not as theory or interpretation, but as hard, indisputable fact. Jehovah's Witnesses still hold on to the 1914 date as the beginning of the last days, and they believe Jesus became king of God's kingdom in 1914 and that he has been ruling invisibly from heaven since then. Of course, they have no way to prove this, but they treat it as an absolute fact. But Watchtower has done an excellent job in covering their previous false prophecies because as I've said, most Jehovah's Witnesses are not even aware of what Russell actually believed. So a complete whitewashing of history. Jesus started out originally as the local. Or Michael the Archangel. This has to be one of the strangest doctrines in Watchtower theology, Jesus being Michael the Archangel, because there's nothing in the Bible that equates the two. In fact, there are some verses, for example, in the first chapter of Hebrews that says that angels worship Jesus. So how can Jesus be an angel when angels are worshiping him? I don't know. <laughs> and it's such a strange rock to die on because Watchtower theology is not dependent on Jesus being Michael the Archangel. They could be two separate beings and Watchtower doctrine would still remain the same. So I'm not sure why they adopted this strange belief around Michael. Who then came to earth as the virgin born son of Mary. He was a perfect, sinless man, but he was only a man, devoid of all divinity. And here's another way in which JW beliefs differ from Orthodox Christianity. Jehovah's Witnesses believe that Jesus had a beginning as the logo, so he's treated as the firstborn of creation, but he's not eternal. Only Jehovah is eternal. But Orthodox Christians believe that Jesus is eternally begotten, having always existed. So that's another point of contention. I love how Jesus is just sitting there all disappointed. Oh man, I'm in the JW universe, so I'm not part of the Trinity. <laughs> I'm just a man of flesh and bones. And while mainstream Christians view Jesus as being fully God and fully human when he was on earth, it's a bit complicated, but that's what that's the belief they hold. The Watchtower Jesus is only human. He was not divine. Jesus walked the earth as a man, becoming the Christ only when he was baptized. Jehovah's Witnesses hold the cross in contempt feeling that it is nothing more than a pagan symbol used by apostate Christendom. Instead, they teach that at the completion of his ministry, Jesus died, not on the cross, but on an upright stake. Just like the Archangel Michael, this is also another strange hill to die on. Watchtower makes such a big deal on the shape of the instrument Jesus was executed on, manipulating scholarly sources to say he died on an upright stake and not a cross. But it's so silly because 
whether he died on a stake or on a cross has no effect on their theology, on their doctrine. And Watchtower knows this. The only reason JWs reject the cross is because Joseph Rutherford wanted his religion to stand out from the rest, and he cherry-picked a bunch of now-debunked scholars in making the case for an upright stake. And it's just become a tradition for JWs to say that Jesus didn't die on a cross, even though they have no way to prove it, and the evidence points toward Jesus dying on a cross. It's not 100% certain, but uh, it, he most likely did die on a cross. Christ's body was then laid in a tomb where it was disintegrated by God, totally destroyed forever. Jesus was then recreated by the Father. Before going to heaven, he materialized in different bodies on different occasions to convince his disciples and others that he had really been resurrected. And there's another fascinating difference because mainstream Christians believe that Jesus was physically resurrected from the dead, like he still had the same body he died with, but JWs believed that body was destroyed by Jehovah and he was given like a new spiritual body. And you can kind of see the logic behind that because it would explain why Jesus would be able to just appear and disappear into rooms as he does in the New Testament and how he's able to ascend into heaven. But it's not really what the Bible says. Not that the Orthodox version makes much sense either because it implies that there's like a flesh and bones Jesus floating somewhere in heaven with the Father. <laughs> These things are not supposed to make sense, okay? Jesus returned to his father in heaven. I love how Jesus just flies up like Superman. See ya in 2000 years, boys. Where once again, he became Michael the Archangel. He will never again be seen on the earth in visible form, but instead rules invisibly from the heavens. When he executes judgment over the world at Armageddon, he will destroy all but the faithful Jehovah's Witnesses. Well, that was quite graphic, but accurate. Jehovah's Witnesses still believe this is gonna happen, and since then they have continued to publish images where Jesus, along with his chosen 144,000, are waging war against the enemies of God, aka anyone who doesn't submit to the Watchtower. The only inaccuracy I would point out in the cartoon is that in the cartoon Jesus destroys false religion directly. But in official Watchtower Dogma, he uses the United Nations to destroy religion. Uh, but it's just a small detail. Besides that, the cartoon has aged like fine wine. I also love the detail of Jesus twirling his arms while shooting lightning, almost like a wizard, like a Jewish version of Palpatine. <laughs> and it reminds you how silly the religion actually is because you got 8 million functioning people here on earth right now that believe that Jesus is gonna come back soon with 144,000 immortal spirits, among them a glorified Stephen Lent and Mark Sanderson, and wage war on the entire world. We can't even call it a war though, because in a war, both sides have a fair chance of winning. This would be more of a massacre. Jesus, alias Michael, will always remain invisible to those on earth and can be seen only by the 144,000 select Jehovah's Witnesses who rule with him from heaven. I also love how the cartoon depicts the, the four presidents of Watchtower, Charles H. Russell, Joseph Rutherford, uh, Nathan Knorr, and Freddie France. Uh, so yeah, the guys who did this cartoon did the research and it was quite well made. I like the animation. It's very nostalgic. It reminds you like of He-Man. I love how Jesus uses his sword and he's portrayed as like this genocidal wizard because that's exactly how Watchtower portrays Jesus as this man of war. 
who's going to destroy Watchtower's enemies real soon. Quite a fascinating cartoon. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It's really interesting to see how other Christian denominations see Jehovah's Witnesses uh, and these differences that we might consider silly such as oh is Jesus Michael the Archangel or did Jesus physically resurrect from the dead to us who are no longer believers they might seem like trivial things like eh, who cares but to believers those are very important differences and it's it's interesting to see uh, how Christians respond to these heresies what they consider to be heresies quite fascinating don't forget to subscribe because we're gonna be covering the Mormon version of this cartoon very soon yes Jeremiah films also made a Mormon cartoon similar to this which is like three times the length and it's like ten times crazier than the JW ones so we're gonna be making a response to that real soon uh, yeah that's all I got for today see ya Bah. Goodbye, little sheep.